welcome to cocktails with tea and a j from turquoise it's my mother janice and my sister janice um we haven't done a show in a few months so we have a lot to discuss <laughs> um first we're going to discuss r kelly being found guilty he was convicted of sex trafficking um trick and trina being fired from them from their morning radio show little fizz apologized to amaria and much much more so I'll start with R. Kelly. Let me see what do you have to say. The one thing about the R. Kelly conviction that really stood out to me is how many coddlers of sexual predators there are out there. Because people have been fighting tooth and nail to defend R. Kelly mm -hmm. after all the evidence against him everything against him and he's got away with it for years and there are people still defending him and they'll say shit like oh well what about the parents the parents need to be charged too like why like let's say even if a parent sold their child to somebody that doesn't mean you need to abuse sexually assault or do harm to that child you're still at fault for that it's weird to me the way people are defending him but he deserves to be jailed, he deserves to be sentenced. It's sad that Aliyah isn't alive to see justice, but he, he got what he did. He's getting what he deserves. Yeah, I was gonna say like the stuff that they were saying, um, I guess one of the backup dancers mm -hmm. um, was saying about stuff that he used to make her and Aliyah. Yeah, and yeah they, they used to punish, punish them. them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Like having them perform sexual acts on each As other. Any time they defied him, yeah. he would make them do sexual acts. And the boys would say, because there were boys that said that mm -hmm. he sexually assaulted them, he would make them have sex with grown women in front of him. And just horrible shit. And R. Kelly, and I think R. Kelly and his brother, if I'm not mistaken, they're, they, they are also victims of like sexual yeah, abuse. Yeah, he I said he was when they were he young, was molested stuff. by a cousin or yeah. was it a babysitter it or something? Somebody that was yeah. close to them. Um, but, and it's, it's very disturbing and very sad. And he's so talented. Like, I won't Coley, define the man. I won't say that the man is intelligent, but he's a horrible human being. I'm just saying that's it's crazy how you can have like he his stuff was really trapped in the closet. And yeah. what's even more disturbing is that he was hiding in plain sight. Everybody knew this was going on. Uh, even the woman that worked with him, Sparkle, remember the you better be careful. What you did? No, she was the, the, girl, the girl that was in that on the yeah. tape. That was her little cousin, oh. and she had been like, ever since then, like, hey, y'all need to stop this man. She had been advocating. You notice she never made music again. She got completely blackballed for trying to call out R. Kelly for what he did to her little cousin, and now she's been vindicated. Any thoughts on that, R. Kelly, mom? Not this. I was shocked. I've been saying stuff for years. But you should have known. known everything sounds different, doesn't it now? Like mm -hmm. when you think about no, every no, everything sounds when you think about some of his old stuff, he called himself the Pied Piper, you know the Pied Piper. Well you just was. know you just know that he's really that nap. Yes. You know I mean, I mean but he what I mean by hiding in plain sight, he literally put those messages like well, he, 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 he produced Ali's first album, what was it? Agent and and he, he said he, if he could, he'll stick his whole head in it. And I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Oh, in right. that one song, I forgot, I think it was like the remix to something. It was a remix to something, yeah, he did. So, I mean, everybody know how nasty. But no, I mean, as far as like the pedophilia, he hit that in plain sight. For Ali to do a song about AJ and then, then, then it seems like you're ready. And then that for song. me too, it's like, not to put the blame on the parents, but it's like, I wouldn't, if my daughter got like a record deal or something like that, I wouldn't just let her go off on herself. Hell, we didn't let them go to homecoming by themselves. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I would really be involved. Like, I wouldn't let her be with a grown man just out. You know what I mean? Like, I would want to know what's going on. Not to say, you know, it's the parents' fault, but. I just want to feel comfortable. I, my kids I agree around totally with you. People there, who are but much, I don't much think older. that people should 
neglect the fact that the predator is No, I'm not problem. saying that he should get he should have got away with anything. I'm just saying more people should have been involved. Like the people that yes. seen it happen, why didn't Absolutely. they say something? Because he been tough. Why do you think Sparkle was blackballed for years? Mm -hmm. This happened to her little cousin. She had been arguing this for years. And what happened to her? They shunned her, pushed her away. You trying to destroy this man. And I see that now, even after he's gotten convicted. Mm -hmm. I see this now. Y'all just want to destroy a black man. That's what people are saying. Yeah. It's weird to me. It's weird to me. You have people like Bill Cosby defended, saying R. Kelly got a bad deal. Yeah, Bill Cosby. Bill, his his yeah. lawyer, his lawyer, spoke on behalf of him and yeah. said that R. Kelly didn't get a fair trial. Yeah, and I want to say something. Did we put up our little topics on the screen? Okay, I just want to double check. I didn't see that happening. Thanks. Um, any, uh, <laughs> any final thoughts on R. Kelly or? Are we moving along, ladies? We can move along, unless y'all have something to say. I know. Um, so, Trick and Trina this week was fired from their radio show, and the reason has not been disclosed. Like, nobody knows why they have been fired. The part was Beyonce. Because, you know, Trick Daddy said Beyonce couldn't sing, what was it, a few weeks ago? She probably got fired. <laughs> Daddy, why did he say that when she can? Because Trick Daddy is just messy. He's just messy. He a hot mess. At that, mm. but I, they haven't given uh, provided a reason why they were fired. But one thing I can say, like me and you was discussing earlier, um, watching Love and Hip Hop Miami, like Trina has a bad attitude, Trick has a bad attitude. I want her, I wouldn't want to hear that yeah. in the morning, you know. I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just couldn't deal with it, but um. in the in a way, it could be a blessing in disguise for them to make it something better, but then also. As messy as they are, it could be backfiring. Cause they used to talk, they used to talk a lot of trash about people and have an attitude. Same thing like with Wendy Williams. Like she's she's not she's fired, but she's going through a lot of shit. yeah, like mental health issues, and then she had COVID, so she hasn't. Um, she got COVID. That's what they're saying. Why she was in the hospital, but now she's over COVID and tested negative. Um, she's still in the hospital. I think for like more so like her mental state. Like mm -hmm. she has psychiatric like, tests. Um, evaluations done, and, mm. but the way she be out on them streets looking crazy mm -hmm. and acting all around, short, so. you know, being everybody else's business. Just sometimes you gotta take time for yourself, but realize that you ain't this the shit that you think you are, or you just shit with all all the glitter, whatever you wanna call it. Any thoughts on Trick and Trina or Wendy Williams? I'm just surprised. I am not surprised. You reproduce mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And then like um so a little little fizz and well he caught little fizz from B two K. Give a little backstory. Started to date his band member Debbie Mama April Jones and it was they were they were on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Well he has broken up with her. They haven't seen each other in what, eight months? And then um they had a, B2K had a concert not too long ago, I think it was probably yesterday. And Little Fizz apologized to Marion. He said, you know, what he did was some snake shit, and he regrets it, and blah, 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 blah. And then apparently April was on, I think it was Love and Hip Hop, um, Atlanta. And she was just crying, you know, saying how she had to see him in eight months, and how he did her so bad, and there was no good guys out there. So, um, we was on another blog site and they put up an old video of her saying, well not too old, um, of April saying basically like why guys are attracted to her and why um, women are she's, jealous it, of which her. Which is very common, she's not the only one that's done that sin that sin from Love and Hip Hop also yeah. did something similar. But you put this statement out like you're better than everybody else and you're so exotic, that's why black guys want you, but you got done dirty too, apparently. But you should never. You, she should know it wasn't gonna last because first off, the way she, who she dated, you dated your your baby daddy's friend, so mm -hmm. it wasn't gonna last. Um, any thoughts on that situation? I have a lot to say about that. I have a lot to say about that. Well, go ahead, the floor is yours. <laughs> because for one, the situation with 
Lopez and April and Omarion. Yes, I remember when April went on her little tangent about how basically saying black women were uh, offended that she got guys so easily because she's exotic and doesn't look black. And then so easily like, not to talk about looks because beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, but I could see a tell person that probably have a great personality that can get a, it, it, a it does not person. This is my issue is this. It does not matter what race you are. There are beautiful people of all races. It does not matter what race you are. My issue is this. Why is it so common online for people to say, oh, black guys like us, women that aren't fully black, or even black guys to say, I like these women because they're not black women. And black women don't get this type of treatment because they don't do this and this and that. And then as it turns out, like in the April situation, they treat y'all the same exact way they treat us. So are we really the issue? Are we? If you're dealing with the same shit, you sit up there breaking down and crying and talking about how horrible you're being treated, but you feel like, oh, I'm this and this I'm so much better than you. Well, we don't need that. We don't need that. That's just her karma coming back on her. She should have never been. But, but it, she's not even the only one sin. The one who was with she, her, she did the same thing. She, she had to marry jo- somebody 20 years younger than her. Who? She got that bait. Sin? That sin? sin what was her name Sin Santana? She was dating Joe Button. Yeah, she had to oh, date Joe Button. What's up, about? She used to date Eric Menon. No, I was talking about old girl off of... Uh, they got into it with the girl... What's her name? Hazel. Hazel. 20 years. I think I... Is her name Hazel? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. How yeah. are you talking about? Because she had a baby time. Yeah. yeah. I was like, who? Who's twenty years young? What's her name? Hazel. Yeah, Hazel. I know who Hazel is. <laughs> That's who. Uh, but I was about to send the one who was with Erica Mena and then got with Joe Budden and had a baby. What she had made a comment about saying how black men just treat Spanish girls better, and it's gonna make the black girls mad for her to say this. Like and, and she just was like, wait a second. If black girls are like, hey, don't bring us into then this, and then her like crap. left her with the baby. Now she's a single mother, and everybody says talks all kinds of shit about single mothers when they're black, and now all these women are, that are aren't black are becoming single mothers with with their black guys, and nobody. But is single saying being anything. A, Single mom. That's what I'm saying. That doesn't make it that nothing new. I don't. But it also doesn't make any sense to me why that would be a character flaw. If shit don't work, it just don't work. Yeah, like how is the fact that you're single and a parent a character flaw? It makes no sense. To be honest, black women been raising kids by themselves forever. Because remember, back in the day in slavery, they sold the husbands, and when you had children, they sold them too. So that, if you go back in time, yeah, that's true. But where did the trope come that the fact that these women had children and single is what the issue is? I don't understand. It that. ain't no issue with single women because men will sleep with you if you got kids or don't. So they need to stop. <laughs> I you can have a thousand kids running around, and if you'll give it up to a man, they'll take it. Mm-hmm. But I think what men are trying to argue is that, yeah, they'll sleep with you and impregnate you and it's all your fault because you let them. They don't, they keep saying accountability, accountability, but they're not holding themselves accountable for impregnating women. These it doesn't have guys. Mean, yeah, these new, yeah, this new fight fangle society, I don't get it. I'm starting to feel like mad. Mad. I don't get it. But yeah, anyway. So, uh-huh, April. All right, moving along. So, some of this, because we haven't been on for a while, so we have a lot of stuff to cover. So, um, we never got to talk about Dr. Dre, which is to provide financial assistance oh, to his 38 year old daughter and his grandchildren. Um, 
What would make you be greedy like that? The man is rich. Mm -hmm. I thought when you was hustling, you was hustling for your daughter. When your daughter still yeah. needs you and your grandkids. It doesn't matter. You're rich. You'll never be able to spend all that money. Exactly. That's selfish to me. Well, I feel that there's two sides to it. I feel like y'all felt, but I also kind of on the opposite end felt like if you know somebody in your family, whether it's your child or somebody, you want them to do good, you want to help them, and they have a problem, whether it be drugs or gambling, you know, something where they're not getting it together. At some point, if they're not getting it together, you can't help them. You can't yeah, help I agree them because they're going to blow your money so away. So like, you, you he million been million helping dollars. her and just decided that like, she... Like, there is the argument, like he says, he's been giving her money. He's been taking care of her. She's blowing the money. She's uh -huh. doing this and Because that. that would be odd to me for somebody to be so be rich and not to help I, them. Which I say, but even still, I'm like, if I still, even with that being said, if you're on the street living in a car, I will make sure you have a place to go. I, would I won't put bill. no money in your hand, but I will make sure I you have a place to go. To be because I'm yeah. I, there is no way in hell that my child yeah. and their, my grandchildren they are going to be living in the, in the street. Yeah. There is no way in hell, regardless of the situation. Mm -hmm. I get not That's wanting to help because people won't get good, their act together. But there is no way. I just wouldn't put money in your hand. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, come stay here. Come bring the babies here. I would. That would be me. I'm just not putting money in your hand. There's no way in hell I'm rich and you living in a car with my grandbabies. No way in hell. All right, moving along. So there was a story, and it's so probably played out by now. Um, but it was a story about like celebrities not bathing. And it was more so of celebrities who are Caucasian. <laughs> Not, um, like, okay, so I heard some don't wash their legs. Like, they only will wash, like, their underarms. Um, females wash underneath their, their chest and the important parts. And then, which is, like, private areas. And it's the same for the guys. And some of them use, like, soap. Some just use water. I've heard so many, so many stories. Yeah. Number one, I think it's disgusting. Like, and then the first thing is, it's like every like a lot of things are geared for to kind of like cater to those who are Caucasian. So like, what's the point of having body wash and mm -hmm. and um, face wash and all this if you're not going to you know, utilize it? You know what? Like triggered me about this story. What triggered me about this story is how when you think about back in the day how they didn't want black people bathing with white people because they assumed black people were dirty mm -hmm. just because we're brown and they are dirty ones and we are like overly clean and you know what's crazy is they're really they are probably like the color of a ghost if they really were to bathe <laughs> that's why they like, don't bathe they keep the dirt on to try to get dark not trying to you know well, I'm trying not to you know she I mean, the, not ones, I the ones that say that they don't bathe yeah that's weird to me. To, that that's weird. a weird flex to me. Mm -hmm. to, to openly, proudly admit mm -hmm. you don't mm -hmm. shower. Mm -hmm. that's and weird. you got water. You rich. You got water running, just wasting away when your body could be under there with some soap. <laughs> your body could be under there with you know, some you soap. You just got water running. <laughs> you notice that they always have waterfalls, swimming pools, <laughs> stuff like that. Get in there and grab some soap in one of them waterfalls. These, and these people that are famous are rich celebrities. It's crazy. It's weird. it's weird. I think it might be they don't want to rub all the dirt off just to try to get some cover. It's weird. It got to be because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you take a bath or a shower? It's crazy to me. That shocked me. And some of the names Turkey told me, I was like, oh my goodness. What is it mean? Is it Mila Kunis? Mila Kunis, Ashley Kutcher, Dex Shepard, and uh, Kristen Bell. And Dex from Nebraska, ain't he? You know, he's from Iowa. Weird neighbors. He knows Dale when he's from Iowa too. He knows Dale when he's to be up in that shower. And, and you know, I'm not going to say it. Say it. I wonder if they always had a sense to it. You know what I mean? Don't it's say just it. 
time one of them walk by, they have a stank smell to them. They you say know? that about black people too. They lying though. So all like all they can, I was going to say, all they can smell on us is perfume and cologne and stuff. But to be honest, they have a bad sense to them. They should really get in the tub. <laughs> all right, moving along. So, again, this is the older. The vaccine <laughs> and the mysterious case of Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's balls. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did she you hear about that story? Me, me. <laughs> the, the, that story is so so Nicki Minaj like went viral for posting on Twitter that she has a her cousin has a friend who got the vaccine and as a result he became impotent and his balls swelled up and his fiance left him. <laughs> that she posted this and yeah, everybody like went in on her about the true side effects of the vaccine. I feel like maybe her cousin's friend either was doing some had some kind of had a STD, yeah. They had an STD or they something like that. It wasn't from no vaccine. It wasn't from the vaccine, but the fact she said that was so fucking hilarious and the way people made fun of it was so fucking hilarious. I love the way Trevor Noah made fun of it. He was like, the woman was like, I can handle for rich or poor or for better or worse, but nobody said anything about swollen <laughs> testicles. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is hilarious. <laughs> he did say that, that was And then one thing too, like, I can say in our house, though, we're all, majority of us is fully vaccinated. Yeah, well, I have one more shot to take. And, I got my first shot. And what's crazy to me is um, people telling you to do research about the vaccine. But research doesn't mean watching YouTube gurus and Facebook theory, c conspiracy theories. Yeah, but I mean, like, who are you? If you're not listening to the doctor's research and the science what, research, what is it that, where is your research coming yeah, from? Yeah, like, if you're hearing nothing but positive and good things about it, who are you to say, well, no, that's not how it is. Like, this is how, like, the whole They listen to Republicans. Up. Like, what? Is, that's crazy to me. Republicans. And then, like, we always do vaccinate. Like, we had the chicken pox yeah. uh, vaccine. Yeah, like, every, like, everything. Mm -hmm. And people wonder why those things no longer exist. Because, because of the vaccine. Yes. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. To stop the spread of it. It's just, weird yeah. to be against something that would protect you. Yeah. It's weird. And there's a lot of people like that, like, I'm not gonna inject my body with something that I don't know what it is, but then you're saying people, people that got breast food. implants, yeah, uh, butt injections, yeah, yeah, silicone shots, food. get that Botox. You know, yeah. You know, people, guys, I'm protected. Are you still going to want me unprotected? So I'm like, but I'm not gonna get the shot that's gonna prevent me from getting <laughs> disease. That's so. That's so. Ignorant. It makes no sense. That's ignorant. That's you're ignorant. That's ignorant. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, and moving along, um, so I didn't watch this battle, but you did, Nisi, the verses with Dipset versus the Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that was yeah. a few weeks ago. Yeah, like all of our stuff were, is a little outdated, a little dated, a little old, because we haven't done our show for a while. I still listen to that to this day. It but was so awesome. Was it Jada Kids currently? He it was the last killed everybody. Uh, Dipset, and I felt like Jada Kids. Like I feel like I, I can't believe how much I have been sleeping on this dude. Like he's so dope. Mm -hmm. Like lyrically, he's so dope. I was like, wow. Why have I never like paid attention to this dude? Like he was so he completely and I knew all of Dipset songs. I knew Dipset anthem. I think most people that listened to the battle going in, they were like, Dipset's gonna win, you know, because they got the most hits compared to the locks. But then you go in there and Jada Kiss was like he just blew everybody away. He killed everybody, revived them, killed them again, revived them, and <laughs> killed them again. He he. He was dope as fuck, and I respect him as a lyricist. Like I feel like he's top tier now. Like after, just from watching that battle alone, and apparently that wasn't the only battle that he was involved in where he demolished people. Apparently he's known for doing that, like going into battles and demolishing them. And he's been on a lot of like, for instance, one part of the battle that I really like respected. It was like ah that I didn't know is um. They did all about the Benjamins against Dipset, 
and uh, Dipset was like, no, you can't do that because they did the what you want to do, want to be ballers. Remember what Diddy said? And, uh, uh, he was like, those are my words. Jay Kiss was like, I gave Diddy that verse. I wrote that for Diddy. And Diddy tweeted, and I'm forever grateful with prayer hands. <laughs> Like, he is dope as fuck. Like, Jadakus is dope as fuck, and I feel like he don't get the recognition he deserves, and I'm glad he got his flowers after yeah. that battle. Yeah, I, I, I care too much for that battle. So Did you, you watch it? Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I didn't. Well, not, I, I guess I was like, wow, well, I'm not really surprised. Into Dipset or you know, I get that because I wasn't a huge, huge Dipset. Like, I probably heard one fan. song each of theirs, and that's probably it. Well, I get that, but watching it, like, it was just riveting to watch. It was riveting because, like, Jadakiss, and then the way he came out, yeah, say, yeah, anyways, <laughs> anyways um, when Jadakiss came out, like, he didn't say nothing. He literally just stood there, and they all, like, kind of yelling back and forth at each other, the um, other members and stuff, because, you know, Dipset is Jim Jones, and Lula is Santana, and all of that, uh, oh, uh, Freaky Zeke and Cameron, all of them over there, they talking, they shit, trying to prop up, and act like, yeah, we about to come in here and demolish these niggas, and Jada, he's just standing there, he's not saying anything, he's just letting them talk they shit or whatever, and then something happens that pisses him off where uh, Cameron's like, y'all go first because they're in New York. They did this in Madison Square Garden. Jadakiss lives in New York. Jadakiss lives in New York and Cameron lives in Miami. And Cameron said, this ain't y'all home. This is not y'all home. Y'all don't live here. And that's the first time Jadakiss spoke. And he was like, Cam, you live in Miami. Don't tell us like we don't live here. We're in the Mecca of New York. This is where hip hop started. Don't sit up here and tell us this isn't our home. And then he goes into rapping and he like killed it. And then they come back with weak shit. Like they kept rapping like they were lip syncing. They were kind of like the songs they were playing, they were kind of rapping over it. And he kept, Jadakiss kept pointing out, why are y'all rhyming out over the words? Y'all know the words to y'all own song? Like, like, he's like, he's like, y'all know the words to y'all own songs? He kept saying, y'all know the words to y'all own songs? And he was like, I came here to show y'all I know how to rap. Like he's like rapping over instrument himself. Like he's rapping himself. He's not rapping over words. He's like, I'm telling y'all I came here to rap and show y'all, let y'all see me sweat. Let them do better than me and let me do better than them or whatever. I'm telling y'all and he kept saying the whole show, this this isn't fair. This isn't a, this is a fixed fight because he's like, it's not fair because I'm so much better than these two. <laughs> I'm like, he's absolutely right. Like the whole show, he was absolutely right. And they kept trying to press on. It was it was amazing. I'm just sorry. I, I earned so much respect for Jadakiss watching that battle. He was dope. It was amazing. I loved it. Good, good. Um, moving along. So, um, a Texas mom was killed by her toddler while on a work Zoom call. Oh, yeah. Shamaya Lynn, and she was 21 years old. I don't know if you remember me telling you about that. But um, apparently, I think it was, what was it, two year old or three year old? Um, she had a, basically a gun in her home that was insecure, and he shot her while she was on a Zoom call in her head. And I was like, that is like so awful, so horrible. Um, and I don't know, I just wanted to bring that up because I thought it was a very, very sad situation. Um, any thoughts on that, Nancy? No, that's very horrible. And also about gun safety. Gun safety is very important. If you're going to have a gun in your home, you need to make sure it's secure. A lot of kids, there are more accidental deaths from legal gun owners not locking their guns. Kids and people being killed in that manner. So it's very important that if you're going to own a gun and you want to have a gun, that you are skilled in gun safety to make sure your babies or anybody else that doesn't know what they're going to get to that mm -hmm. Yeah, like I just think that's really, really sad. You definitely should have it in a safe or something. 
because um, kids can get into everything, but I don't think they really would be able to get into, say, something that has a combination to it or, or a key. key. Yeah. And then um, another important factor of that is not only to have it uh, safe or locked away, but make sure it's not reachable. Like have it up high on your shelves in your closet or something. And I think a lot of people, I'm not sure if this young lady, if her, um, she was like a, a registered to have that gun or not, but it's like people, like you mentioned a little um, earlier, those who have the weapons legally are kind of like, like they don't care. Mm -hmm. And those who have illegal weapons, they take a lot of precautions. Yeah, because like they know they're not supposed to have it. So they're going to make sure that they're doing everything right as far as like keeping it locked away. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was a very sad story to so bring light to it. It's very, gun safety is very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, moving along. So this week, Kelly, apparently people thought Kelly Price was missing after her kids reported her missing because like, okay so she she was diagnosed with COVID was in the hospital then released and her kids have not didn't have any heard from her so they put her on like the missing persons list so then everybody's like having all these concerns and it's like she's missing she's missing but she wasn't and um she just was I guess just in her home resting up from recovering from COVID and the brat released a statement. She went on like Instagram Live and was like, her real friends, her true friends knew that she was safe because we reached out to her. And the kids were like, well, we did try. The husband's keeping us, keeping us away from her. And then like all this nonsense. Like we basically had social media up in the uproar because it was like, oh my God, like Kelly Price is missing. Like it just seemed really fishy to begin with. Um, any thoughts on that? <laughs> my thoughts is, I feel like it became a big thing because you think you think of the story of Brittany Murphy. Remember that? It was like if her if her kids just wasn't like don't say she was missing. Just do like a, a, a she's not. What is that called? A check wellness up. check. A wellness check. Yeah, up. like but don't say it and then put it all on social media and have everybody in the friends be like, oh my gosh, she's really missing. That was definitely a personal matter that should not have mm -hmm. been brought to social media. Mm -hmm. I feel, but I also think like. It's the reason people freak out because you think about stories that other people need to see, like what happened to Brittany Murphy and shit like that. What happened? To her? She died. I know she died. But her <laughs> husband killed her. Exactly. People were saying but she he wasn't was, missing from him. No, people were saying he was preventing them from coming to the house and shit. But like the brat said, they like the brat said, her true friends knew she was okay. They was calling her, talking to her. No, she was okay. So it's like it just maybe like a dispute or disagreement between the kids. I've always been told I look like Kelly Price. Between the kids and the husband, like don't don't go playing with people emotions like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scary. All right, um, Boosie and Lil Nas. Lil Boosie is obsessed. Why are you so Boosie upset? Boosie is so obsessed, so obsessed with Lil Nas X. It's sad. It's very sad. And you know what's funny is I listened to Lil Nas X's album. It wasn't a bad album. He's not talking no horrible, vulgar shit or anything like that. I'm like, oh, his album isn't bad. But the fact that people, like especially Lucy going in, He's every so time he does, anytime Lil Nas X does something, the fact that Lil Lucy has something to say about it is weird to me. Like, it, it's almost obsessive. And it's also hypocritical being what Lil Boosie has said. Lil Boosie says shit like, oh, um, Lil Nas X is trying to influence these boys that's trying to be straight. First of all, how can you be influenced to be straight? You either are or you aren't. But, and then on top of that, he has a whole ass gay daughter. Mm -hmm. And then he promotes in his music how he likes seeing women on women action. Which is gay. gay. He promotes in his music how he likes seeing women on the moment action, but you see this gay boy who's doing whatever the hell he wants to do, which he has the right to do. If you don't like it, don't look. Is how I feel. He's not hurting nobody or doing anything wrong to me, and uh, you're just lashing out at him. You're literally promoting the same thing on the opposite end. You just don't like it because he's a guy. You know, girl. 
<laughs> it's weird as well. The little boost. And oh, speaking of little boosty, how he got a movie out about his life, and he tweeted like. Because he feel like he's not getting the support that he should be getting. Yes, he got a movie out about his life. And he tweeted that Doc, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. will be rolling over in his grave <laughs> at the fact that black people aren't streaming and buying his movie and that they're watching it on bootleg. <laughs> Why do you say that? He sounds fucking ridiculous. He sounds fucking ridiculous. Now who you said that? Little Boosie. Little Boosie. You know, little little Boosie this shit. Because he used to rap with Weezy. He did the white me down. Was it Weezy Webby? I meant him Web, to Webby down Webby, Webby, Yeah, oh. tell him 50 cent owe me money. <laughs> I'm you know what? You know, it's funny. I could have told him to you, you know, like 10 years ago when she owed him a meal, you know. And I kept saying to him, I don't know 50. No, don't mess it up with 50. No, 50 was nice to us. Forget Webby. I guess. I don't know 50. I don't know 50. And then, like, 10 years later, I met 50 Cent. I could have told him, but. 50 is involved in all of this. Webby's going to be like, why are you being asking for my money? Sorry. Um. Like he he put he it, he put too much energy on the wrong shit into little Nas X yeah like put that maybe he like him <laughs> <laughs> like maybe you have a crush on him it's <laughs> weird put that energy to promoting your movie you yes, know instead of funny. oh I my agree. god it's the maybe he like him. maybe he do like him. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to be straight and you making me like you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's weird. Is this shit. I really don't listen to Little Nas X. I, I like Lil Nas X. I like Lil Nas X. Like, I don't he, know. He's unproblematic to me. He don't do nothing to nobody. People just don't like him because... And you know what's so funny? Is he does the same shit that like Prince did, like with the flamboyancy. Like he does the same shit Prince because everybody knew... Prince women love ass Prince. Ass. Women love Prince. He had ass chaps and wear the, uh, earrings and fucking wear the makeup and he still take your girl. But like Lil, Lil Nas X man know he like men and I think that's why people don't like him. And you know what's crazy is like times are different but everything recycles like it's, it's the same. It's yeah, the same. because looking at like Cameo, the Ivy they Brothers, all those wore rock bands, feminine and wore makeup. Yeah. But I guess now the new fangled generation, they just they just trigger. They don't have the they same, trigger. They don't have the same. No, the new fangled. Tra- they put on the makeup. Snowflakes. They want to be a girl. Or a they blah, 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 snowflakes. Blah, 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 blah. Triggered snowflakes is what they are. They this just, generation. They just don't go off the same vibe. Because I remember seeing everything that's happening now. From the color hair, yeah, it just from the, like the, the guys dressing feminine, being flamboyant, all of that existed already. Hell, I was listening to cameos, Why Have You? Lo- Why Have I Lost You? How many people thought that that man was a woman? I know I did. <laughs> Every, how many people thought that man, he had that high ass voice, beautiful voice, high as fuck, he sounded like a woman, but we loved it. And I also Didn't think we? this generation is too sensitive too. Yeah. Like back in the day, just I don't give a damn, they wearing women clothes and got eyeliner on, they, they got some good music. And now yes. it's like, oh my God, yes. you wearing eyeliner yes. and women clothes, I'm so offended. Yes. You know? But back in the day, you have to remember, and then a lot of people wear makeup because you have to, to even look good on camera. You know what I mean? People nowadays still need to wear makeup. That's what I'm saying. Good. You really do need on makeup, makeup to uh, look good on camera. You know, and especially if the camera and the lights is always on you, you and then high definition up. and 4K mm-hmm. television and shit like that. You see every makeup. Yeah, they have high stuff. definition TVs back then. They see it's black and white. I'm saying now. Can't even be on black and white TV. I'm saying now though. The lights would burn your skin. <laughs> <laughs> so we were problem. <laughs> the lights would burn your skin. That's funny. <laughs> so they would foul on the makeup. That's funny. That is funny. Hey, back then TV was black and white. <laughs> I guess not the album covers, but for the lights, <laughs> I'm telling you, they would burn your skin. Uh, the lights in my room, they make my room freaking hot. I mean, See why you they will burn your skin. Imagine if you was doing a movie, they would have all yes. the lights on you, and you'd be sweating, and your skin would be burning if they yeah. didn't have on makeup. 
All right, ladies. Miss you got any more topics? Um, let's think what's recently happened because we've been a while uh, away for a while, and um, it's been a long time. It's, it's been a long time. Why the adult talking? Step two. Step two. Because then what if it cuts? It's Forty minutes. Step two. Y'all trying to get to what? been a long time. Cause y'all didn't yeah, let me talk about my vacation. Yeah, okay, go go we went there to Las go. Vegas and California, well, Nevada and California, um, beginning of August. Well, July 31st. Oh, Amma's birthday. Yeah. Like we always do. But it was the best time ever. I only had one problem and that was at Disneyland. There was this little girl doing her little bubbles. I understand they got the bubbles at Disneyland and everything. So the bubbles was coming in my face. So I did like this. The little girl seen me do like this. She took the whole thing and pointed it at me. So I said to the little girl, I says, now you see, I'm trying to get the bubbles out of my face. Why you take that and point it at me? Mama steps in and say, you at Disneyland. <laughs> I said, because I'm at Disneyland, I got to get soap in my eyes. And she was like, um, come on, let's go. I said, goodbye, because, hey, I have a right. I paid to get in there. I don't need, I don't care that people giving the bubbles. I didn't have no bubbles. I don't want no bubbles in my eyes. You know, it's okay to do your bubbles, but if you see somebody standing there waving them, don't want them in their face, don't want them at them because you're liable to get your ass whooped. Kid or not. Kid or not. The mama to did the right thing, she left. You know, because I was going to give her an ass whooping. <laughs> I really was. And mama had a blast. I did. I'll never forget she was going to get my daughter a burger. <laughs> and she was gone for two hours. <laughs> and the kids woke me up panicking like, oh my God, grandma. She's she back in here. It's been two hours. So I went to go look for her and I heard, because I had to catch the elevator. Because um, we was on the 20-something floor. Yeah, yeah. And then I hear what's voice like, that's like my mom. And the elevator door's open and you touching the guy, young guy, <laughs> muscle, <laughs> he's flexing. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know where. I was having a great time. I had a ball. I had and the elevator was packed too. They all sitting there laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had fun. That was the best trip ever. I'm glad you had good time. The only time, time I had a bad time was the little bubbles. I thought I was going to have to break somebody off and end up in jail. I'm glad that's the worst experience that, that was you the had. worst. Yeah. I'm glad. That, that was the worst. worst. And then it took us like six hours to drive from Circus Circus Hotel in Las Vegas to um, Anaheim, California because the traffic. Like it was supposed to only be, what was it, like almost four hours, three and a half hours. But the traffic out there was bad. And then they took us all the way around from that one accident. Yeah. yeah. We got to skip over that. Cause that was really bad. That was really backed up. But it was the best trip ever. I'm very and very I'm glad you guys. I'm dying, guys I'm dying to go again. I really am. I I mean, yeah, they all came back as Californians. My son dressed like Ice Cube and be doing it. It seemed like he be doing a crip, crip walk. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. It was just really like it was just me, my mom, my daughter, and my nephew. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a really, really, it was really, really nice good time. Trip. Anytime I wanted. Jack in the Box turkey and Elijah would go get me Jack in the Box. It was the best. Yeah, we ate so, in and out burgers. It was so close it to really us. It really was close when to us. When we stayed hotel. in Vegas, everything was close to us. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to go far for anything. Because yeah, everything we stayed in California. Did you walk to a lot of places? That was in uh, uh, Anaheim. Yep, yep. Anaheim. Because we had everything right next to our hotel. Mm -hmm. The gas station, mm -hmm. Denny. Jack in the we Box. We had a few uh, gas burger. stations mm -hmm. next to our hotel. It was yeah. nice. They didn't get them slushies from 7-Eleven. Elijah did. Well, what, was that 7-Eleven? Well, he didn't get, I wanted him to try it was from 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah. But he um, got slushies. Slushy. He wasn't 7-Eleven yeah. slushies. It was really nice. Disneyland was really nice. It really was. Uh, we, we went had twice. It was really yeah. nice. It was, it was really I sit out late at night, smoke my weed. She I met me some friends. She was just I dog. Had I was so like, I accidentally yeah. got my grandson high. I took him out. Oh, accidentally. Yeah, because I took him outside with me and every time I blew out the weed, it blew in his face. <laughs> yeah, Why didn't he move? He didn't move because he was tired. He was <laughs> tired. Because he was tired. He's like, like, I can't he tired. I was in that wheelchair and he was sitting 
on the bed. He was tired from the contact. Yeah, he was. He was, he was like, I'm yeah. so hot, I can't turn my face on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really feel my time. face. That was a good time. It That's really awesome. Fun. It was really fun. I I'm ready to go back. I all right. Any final thoughts, words, comments? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for tuning in to Cocktail Ten and Jay. See you next time. <laughs>